Good morning, Oxbow Creek, and welcome back to an April week here. I hope you had a great three-day Easter weekend. I certainly did, and uh, I'm looking forward to the spring here. We finally got to break through this barrier and get some warm weather that's going to be kind of consistent. Looking forward to it. The month of April, we're looking at constructive use of time. That's a big concept. You've got a lot of time in your life. What do you spend your time doing? The word of the week this week is participation which is a perfect, perfect word, because I've got Mr. Meslowski down here, Mr. Skratsky, if you include him in the photo here. He's down here because we had what I understand to be great participation recently. Absolutely. Our uh, Jump Rope for Heart uh, continues to amaze the people at uh, American Heart Association. And you know what? You guys always amaze me every single day. So uh, we raised about $31,000 for wow. Jump Rope for Heart, and we've been uh, pretty active right now, doing a lot of different stations in our gym. Uh, but you know what? Our students here at Oxbow once again went above and beyond. Uh, 31,000, absolutely fantastic. Now everybody asks me, so how many lives is that? So it's about 620 lives that were saved uh, through the efforts of our students right here at Oxbow. So thank you so much, staff. Thank you so much, students. Uh, now there's another question I get asked a lot. There are some prizes, yes, those that uh, were able to raise some money. The prizes have been ordered, but it's going to take a couple weeks for us to get them. As soon as we get them in, uh, we'll get the student leadership on them, and we'll get them out to you as soon as possible. But thank you so much for everything you did. Uh, once again, hats off to you guys. All right, fantastic. Thanks so much, Mr. Mazlowski. You know, another good word for that is patience, right? They have to have a little patience to wait for that couple weeks. But, you know, again, whether it's the food drive in December or the jump rope for heart or... Caps for Cali. I mean, this this community really does rise up and help people who need it. And it, it's kind of personal for me too, because I don't know about your situation, but uh, my dad died of a heart attack real young, forty eight years old. And uh, anything they can do to help present, prevent heart disease is something that's near and dear to my heart. So thank you all for participating in the way that you did. All right. Well, we have some kids to celebrate once again. Let's get them here in front of the camera. Lily is one of our second graders. And from 2KH here, it says, Lily is one of our quieter friends and a silent leader in 2KH. She leads by example. In, in 2KH, we talk about the difference between turning in work that is good enough versus turning in my best work. Lily here always takes the time to do her best and challenge herself. Along with her serious work ethic, she's also a great friend and a helper. All of 2KH appreciates Lily's leadership and friendship. And they also like her crayon color of pink today. <laughs> Congratulations, Lily. Way to go. Matea, third grader here, part of the run club. Was that last year? Yeah. That's awesome. Matea is one student you can consistently count on to use her time constructively. She's always pushing herself to do her best and helps others to achieve their potential as well. Mr. Shell is very proud of you. Keep up that great work. And run club is a great way to use your time wisely. Fantastic. Avery was one of our fourth graders. It sounds like there was a tie in Ms. Gosser's class. Is that right? All right. 4GA agrees that Avery here is wild about learning. Her classmates and I agree she's always on task, responsible, follows the rules, uses her time wisely. Avery is a great role model. Congratulations. Keep it up. And I love your purple. Preston also, from Miss Gosser's class, he deserves it as well because his classmates and Miss Gosser notice you're always on task, you're willing to help others, you participate, you're kind and hardworking. Way to be a great role model for your classmates. Keep it up, bud. And Jade is one of our fifth grade leaders. On, on the way to Jackson real soon, but in the meantime, values her free time at home, so she uses 10 minutes at the end of the day when everyone else is busy, stacking chairs, visiting, and getting ready to go home to get started on her homework. She doesn't procrastinate. She gets it done. Way to go. Keep up that great work. That'll work well for you in middle school, I'll tell Thank you right you. now. You're welcome. Great to see these kids doing wonderful things, i got to tell you. Speaking of wonderful things, I need to do a shout-out to our 5th grade students. We had, at our PTO meeting last Tuesday night, 160 people attend. And probably 40 of them were 5th graders. Got a chance to ask questions of our panel of students from Jackson Middle. Got all their questions answered, had a good time with it, had about an hour together. And uh, I found it to be really informative, both for the parents as well as for the 5th graders. So thanks to all of you who showed up and had such great, engaging questions. It was a really, enjoyed, it was a really enjoyable day. <laughs> thanks to our student leadership team also for uh, Crayon Day. It was kind of fun to see all those colors and, and what the kids came up with and all that sort of thing. So that was a good one. We do have some students here who want to tell you of their take on participation. Take it away, you guys.
This week's word is participation, and since it's and day, and I'm wearing blue, and so I am participating in Crayon Day. All right. Well, one of the big announcements for the week, it's Family Fun Night on Friday night, that one time of year when this place goes nuts. It fills up with kids having a good time. Hope you're able to join us. Um, and also a huge thank you to all of you who have participated by donating something for the silent auction. Any money raised at the silent auction on Family Fun Night ends up going right back to you guys in the form of either maybe more Chromebooks or another program or something else, but it all goes back to you for the kids, so that's fantastic. Why don't you guys come on over and join me? I've got a few jokes. Let's see if they're any good this week. I saw one, I have to say, while you're gathering, I saw one out in uh, Lower North. I know Kelly, not Kelly, Yelly and Kane usually put something out there, and this one I liked. It was, why are people so tired in April? Well, it's because they just got through a long march. <laughs> Makes sense. Blake in 4SH, what do you get if you cross a fridge and a stereo? Cool music. <laughs> All right, and if April showers bring Mayflowers, then what do Mayflowers bring? I've heard this one before. Pilgrims. The Mayflower, <laughs> yep. And that's Cat and 4SH. 2KH is another one here. What is a pirate's favorite letter? Now, most people say R, but it's no. It's C that he likes. C. Get it? I think so. Those are the jokes, you guys. See you at Family Fun Night. Everybody have a great week.